if you guys enjoy the video, remember to subscribe, it's free. Hey guys, welcome back to the Money Blitz channel. I don't typically do face videos like this, but um, I figured if you guys stuck around and seen the first video on this channel, should I use the uh, AI voice or should I just go with doing this, guys? What do you guys prefer? If you guys would rather me do videos like this or using the AI voice. Make sure you guys leave it in the comments below what kind of help I can give you or what kind of videos I can make. Give me some ideas, topics, whatever. Um, I'm kind of depending on you guys to kind of guide me in the direction this channel is going to go because I don't really know what I'm going to what I'm going to do with it yet. But the main topic here is financial wellness talking about investing and things like that. So recently, let's just get right into the topic of this video. So recently, you know, I've started investing in this app called Acorns. I've got about 10,000 or 11,700 in my balance right now. Um, in the first video, I showed you guys some of that. The topic of the video is 2021 and the stock market and kind of if you guys are in Acorns or any other app similar, or you just pick individual stocks, whatever, however you guys do it, that's fine. But um, if you guys are interested in the Acorns app, I'm going to leave a link in the description. You'll get $5 off your um, subscription if you're interested. Um, what it is, is just, just an automated app that kind of just picks and chooses stocks for you. You don't really have to worry about it. Um, check it out. But um, currently... I have about 11700 in there, and right now the market's up from when I bought about six months ago. I'm up about $1,500, and um, so what we're going to talk about here is, is there a stock market crash, and how to prepare for that, and what, what should I do, and what should you guys do. I'm going to kind of share what my opinions are, and how I can guide you guys a little bit. But um, the first, let's get it right out of the out of the way. The stock market crash doesn't have to be a bad thing. It can be very positive if you know what you're doing. So with the recent president being elected and the stock market being up and all these stimulus payments going, probably people are probably using their stimulus payments to invest in the stock market, which is pushing it up. So it's going to keep getting pushed up and up and up and up. And then when people's money is gone, the stock market's going to crash. It's going to come no matter what, whether it's this year or next year or whatever. So I'm going to kind of guide you guys to prepare for it now, What give you kind of some insight on what I'm going to do. So when the stock market crashes, right, you're going to go, your account value is going to go way down. So I have about 11,700 in there. You know, if it crashes and it goes down 50% or whatever, you know, if I drop all the way down to 5,500, that's fine. Just make sure you guys aren't putting too much money in that you don't need. You know what I mean? Like, only invest money you're willing to lose, right, guys? So you don't want to have the money in there that you're going to need. So when the stock market crashes and you, you're going to get panicked and your money's going to go down, you're going to say, oh, you know, oh, I need this money, whatever. Don't withdraw it. Just keep your money there, especially on acorns. Just keep your money in there. And if it crashes when you have your when you have money invested and it crashes, keep your money in there and invest more because then you're going to be able to buy these stocks and shares at a discounted price, right? The lower the value is in the in the market, the cheaper you're buying them. So when the stock market goes back up, and it will because it always has over the last 40, 50 years, when it goes down, don't panic. That's when you want to take advantage of it and invest more. So let's say you're taking... So what you want to do is you want to dollar cost average. So every two weeks or every week or every day, however you guys want to do it, always invest the same amount of money. That way, 
that means that you bought the highs, you bought the lows, you're buying at the end of the year, you're going to just have an average. If you put the same amount of money in every year, whether the market's high or low, you'll be at the average cost of the stock of the shares, right? And then when the stock market goes down, let's say you put in 200 every week. Then if the stock market crashes to 50%, you know, negative 50%, what you're going to want to do is double your payments then make it 400 so then when the market goes up you'll be up you'll be buying 400 in shares at a discounted price as long as you guys can swing that now these stock market crashes typically last anywhere from a year up to even up to three years so if you guys can manage whatever you guys can manage for two or three years maximum probably then the market will rise again, and that's where you'll be getting your gains. So I hope that helped you guys out. So that's what I'm going to do. Like, what I got my 11700 in there. What I'm thinking, it depends on how soon the market crash is looking to be. I may just withdraw the whole balance and capitalize on the gains that I made, and then reinvest about half of it maybe and then when the stock market crashes put the other half back in when it's at a discounted price you know what i'm saying so i may you know invest a quarter 25 percent or a half of what is in there now just sell it take my gains now and then when the stock market crashes reinvest that lump sum the rest of what I have in there now, plus the dollar cost average that I do every two weeks. And then when it crashes, put the whole balance back in and then wait for that, wait for the market to go back up. And then, you know, I'd have, you know, gains on half of that money that's in there now, plus my future investments. Right, guys? So that's what, that's what my plan's probably going to be. If you guys have money invested in Acorns now, maybe it's a lower value, whatever. Maybe you bought high already. Maybe you already bought high, whatever. But just keep dollar. What I can recommend to you from my point of view is just keep dollar cost averaging every two weeks, whether the market's high or low. The lower the market is, the more you want to invest. Because that's when that's a cheaper price that you're getting. So you want to buy more shares cheaper. When you're gaining money, you don't want to keep putting more money in. You want to put more money in when you're losing money, right? And I know that panics a lot of you guys, but that's a pretty solid strategy. Um, I hope that guys helped you, and I hope it kind of clears up some of the panic coming about the new president and things like that. If you're new to investing on Acorns or whatever you're doing. Don't worry so much. Don't panic too much about the stock market crash because as long as you guys are prepared, at least with this information and whatever other information you guys are getting from other more renowned people, you know, you guys should be fine. The stock market crash doesn't have to be a negative thing. So if you guys like the video, make sure you like, share, subscribe for sure. Follow me back on the next video, and uh, if you guys are interested in acorns, check the link below, and you'll get a discount. Thanks for watching, guys.